am i in focus i really hope i am but hello guys welcome back to my channel today i am back with a slightly different video i'm going to be doing my makeup my go-to everyday makeup look which you can see on the screen right now and if you like it make sure you stick around hit that like and subscribe button it really really does mean a lot to me and yeah let's get straight into it as you can probably tell, I've already done my skincare routine, which is crucial if you want your makeup to turn out right. You don't need millions of products, just a little something to hydrate your skin and get you looking glowy. So that is done. If you want a video on how I do my skincare, what products I use, make sure to let me know and I will drop a video for you. And also, everything that I'm using in this video is going to be linked down in the description box below from what I'm wearing to the products I'm using to the equipment I'm using. Make sure you check it out down below. Step number one for me has to be brows. I really just don't know how people can do their foundation or like their base products and then go in with the brows afterwards. Like, I just... Oh, teach me. Depending on how I'm feeling, I would usually go in with a pink honey, honey glue. Is it honey glue? Is that how you call it? But you guys know exactly what this is. It's that eyebrow gel thing that's literally so viral. Um, I would normally use it, but today I'm not really feeling it. I don't really want this soap brow kind of look. Instead, I'm going to go in with the Wonder Whip from Pink Honey in the shade Dark Brown, which is number two. Usually, I just get an angled brush and just kind of like dip it in and go on the back of my hand and just kind of like get the excess on there and then really lightly i just go in and fill in the sparse areas of my eyebrows i feel like every day i have a different look for my eyebrows like a different eyebrow shape i don't know if you guys can relate but <laughs> yeah when i do this i don't really care to make the eyebrows look like perfect initially just because I'm gonna go in and conceal and kind of clean everything up like if we look at these two eyebrows they do not look the same and also this is the part where I tell you guys I am NOT a makeup artist I just enjoy doing my makeup and you know more recently I've been taking videos and posting it on my TikTok which is right here in case you don't follow me already and they've been doing really well so I thought do you know what why not give you guys an actual YouTube video to conceal I'm gonna go in with a pink camo from pink honey once again in the shade pretty peace I feel like this might come across as a pink honey ad it definitely isn't I was gifted these by pink honey which I'm so grateful for because I always watch their lives and the fact that they reached out to me like when I wasn't really doing makeup content as it is to give me some of their products oh Honestly, I appreciate it and I'm so grateful for it. So, gonna go in with a flat brush, which is from P. Louise. Listen guys, don't ask me brush numbers or brush names. I don't know, I probably use the wrong brushes. I always like to bring it in a little bit um, in front as well. And then on this side, doing the same. And then I go in and drag the excess down onto my lid like so. I quite like using a lighter concealer shade on the bottom of my brows just because it makes your eyebrows pop that little bit more than using um, your actual like skin shade. But more recently, I've just been loving the no eyeshadow kind of look. Even like no lashes, which... <sighs> 12 year old me is screaming right now okay maybe not 12 year old maybe like 16 year old me is screaming at the thought of me not wearing eyelashes because why i love those things so much and then to kind of just hold them in place i'm gonna go in with the nyx control freak eyebrow gel fucking hell that was a bit of a tongue twister wasn't it and then I just kind of like brush out the front bits okay, so next up i'm gonna go in with the pink honey bronzing face frosting in the shade chocolate fondue and it looks like this and i'm just gonna go in with a fluffy brush and just kind of like just get a load of product on there i'm gonna go in on my nose and just apply some there apply some there and start taking it up the bridge of my is it the bridge just up my nose like this basically 
And what this does for me, I feel like it's just give the illusion of a contoured nose more so than when I would do it a little bit later on. Also, this step does not have to be tidy or clean or whatever because you're going to put foundation and everything else on top. Basically, it is like underpainting, which is so viral on TikTok right now. I always see underpainting videos this is actually the matte version of the 16 hour camo concealer which as you guys probably don't know but i'm going to tell you now i have dry skin so i don't do matte products and i bought these by accident as i didn't realize they were the matte versions however it's not failed me it doesn't make me extra dry and to be honest I don't really see much difference between the hydrating and the matte finish one. In the shade Deep Olive, and I'm just gonna, I'm not even afraid to say this, I feel like dirty brushes and dirty beauty blenders work so much better than cleaner ones. Like, shoot me, judge me, do whatever you want, but that is just fat. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people agree with me. A blend the nose contour this is why i love these flutter babies again from pink honey i swear down it is not an ad it's just that i genuinely like their products and yes they were gifted but you know i've been gifted other products and i've used them once or you know it just doesn't work out for me so i'm not gonna pretend um but yeah when i like something i like it and you guys are gonna know about it that's one thing with me the way it just fits in the little crevices of your face in a way that a lot of other beauty sponges wouldn't be able to do is just insane and I love it. I also find it kind of a little bit crazy that a lot of these products that I'm showing you right now I have bought or you can buy from a TikTok shop which who would have thought like even in 2020 when TikTok was like around during COVID times that you know you'd be buying like toilet roll and lucasade and makeup products off tiktok like who would have thought because i know i definitely didn't and i was i was like a little bit of a hater for tiktok i'm not gonna lie especially with the whole like black lives matter and how it was rumored that um they were like hiding like you know certain videos and stuff like that anyways we're not gonna get political but um yeah like i just i'd never i never expected it to be honest i'm going with an oldie but a goodie which is the la girl pro conceal um color corrector actually i'm gonna pop it on the back of my hand and then i'm gonna go in with again the flutter baby but i'm going to use the bottom half and just dab it in there and just get all the product on the flutter baby bottom look how vibrant that is like it's kind of giving clown, but we're gonna sort it out. It's not gonna be like this. Trust the process, for real. Today is so muggy. Like, it's been raining, it's been sunny. Now it's just kind of like still, but it is so muggy. I am literally so hot right now. It doesn't help. I have the biggest softbox in front of me either, but anything for the content anything for the content so guys if you're liking the video so far if you enjoy my little hits and hits my little tips and tricks make sure you are liking this video and um make sure you're liking this video and subscribing as well because like i said it does mean a lot to me i am currently on what 80 subscribers which for me is literally insane as somebody that's wanted to do youtube for years and never really started it and then i do and then i gain like 70 subscribers really quickly it's just a little bit insane the more i talk about it i might just start crying so let me not um <laughs> now i'm gonna go in with the curls and flex waterproof mascara from sunkiss this is another item that i received from pr you can literally buy it in like body care or even super drug i think i think they're mostly known for their suntan like tanning products but they also do makeup and it's unfortunate that the other makeup bits just didn't work for me in terms of complexion which i told the brand and like i said i'm always going to be really transparent but this mascara yeah they did something with this mascara because i love it so much really good mascara is this one guys my makeup is day 
don't even like if you're gonna judge fair enough but um <laughs> is the maybelline the falsy surreal um mascara the pr the pr for this mascara oh, i had it up to here i had it up to here that i was like do you know what let me just get it and see and it's really good really worth it should i do eyeliner or should i not do you know what i will i will i'm gonna use another sun kissed item that really does slap is this eyeliner which is called the just wing it liquid eyeliner just really enjoy using it like when you find a product that you really just enjoy it's you just i just can't get away from it At this point is usually where I'd contour but again I just don't think I'm feeling it today so I'm going to go in with the BFF bronzing and just kind of add it to my cheek area, my neck area and to do that I'm going to use like, is it an angled brush? I don't know guys, I don't know anything about brushes. What I really like about this bronzer is that it's so buildable that it might seem like you've got a lot of product on your brush however like it just you can build it up as much or as little as you want i'm just gonna pop it on my cheeks and i think for me as well it's a really subtle shade that it's not like too overwhelming and i can't really go wrong even if i put a little bit too much product on the brush just because it does show up on my skin but not like overwhelmingly which i really like it's just really nice and subtle and it adds like a really nice kind of like glow to you as well because it's cream based and i don't know for my dry skin i find that cream based products especially like bronzers and um, blushes as well work really really good for the sake of this video, I'm going to go in with the HMB Luminous Soft Focus Airbrush Foundation. Now again, this is another TikTok hype product that is definitely worth it. If you've not tried it out, please, 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 I beg of you to, because you are not going to want to go back after trying this. Again, not being paid, it was gifted, but I'm not being paid to promote it so hard like this. Mine is in the shade LF22W and to be honest, I'm running out because yeah, and all I do is just add about that much onto the back of my hand with a foundation and contour brush, which I actually got from Primark. I have two of them and I cannot risk them going out of stock. So I think I'm gonna like buy some more just in case. And I start on my cheeks, like somewhere low down like this and I pat, that is the trick. Do not drag, just pat your foundation on to your face. And with this, I find I'm using a lot less product and it just turns out so much more better. Like it literally looks like skin. I it like this. So yeah, that's like a little tip that I learned from TikTok. Honestly, TikTok is the place for everything. Like the little tips and tricks that you get from TikTok oh, are literally lifesavers. I don't know if you guys can see the side by side comparison of this side and this side. It just makes it look so seamless, so soft. Literally, it's in the name airbrush. Um, and yeah, I just love it. And I've done it with a very tiny bit of product. If anything, I think this on the back of my hand is even a little bit too much. I believe it's a medium to full coverage foundation so it's definitely kind of like buildable depending on how much coverage you want but yeah if you've not tried this where have you been where have you been it's about 20 pounds they always have like discounts especially at the end of the month at the end of the month go onto my tiktok press that little basket if you're in the uk it's only uk they always have like payday sales so the foundation itself is 20 pounds but you can get it as cheap as 12 pounds the discount goes and usually if you're like a first time buyer or if tiktok is feeling very generous they will chuck in some vouchers for you as well so you might get 
get like free shipping, you might get um, additional money off the product. So you can literally buy this for about maybe like even 10 quid, which is literally insane. I've had mine since March and we are currently in August and you know, we've been going strong only now is when we're starting to run out of the foundation and I use it most days as well, so yeah. Now, if I haven't bragged about HMB enough, <laughs> we go again i'm gonna use the concealer from them in the shade sfsm um yeah the soft focus airbrush concealer which again listen you already know what i'm gonna say if you haven't tried it where have you been and i'm just gonna add it to these areas of my face and then you find a concealer that doesn't dry down too quick for this step where you just leave concealer under your eyes for a couple of minutes and then you blend it out and it achieves like a really nice airbrush kind of look under your eyes um which if you're anything like me I need it because those bags those bags be bagging at times and they definitely are not chanel so they gotta go they gotta go. Whilst I'm waiting for that to sit on my face, I'm going to go in with the bronzer once again from Pink Honey. About three to four minutes later, I'm gonna go in with this brush again. I don't know what it is. And I'm just gonna start blending kind of like the outside of the concealer. Blend it in again, never drag, always dab. Why does that rhyme? Never drag, always dab. <laughs> Lol get me in that studio right now oh my god speaking of studio ty and whitney in the studio right now what the hell but you know what it actually needs to be released i actually need it on spotify because i will listen to that song i can be a body and a lady don't do shit this pays me can't let no one play me couldn't give a toss if you lot hate me I never changed for nobody. Gone, babe, gone. Babe. I cannot believe Whitney didn't win. How could she not win? Those Facebook moms, those Facebook moms, honestly. Oh, I was so disappointed. I was sat there with my phone ready recording, and she said Tammy and Jess, and I was like, um, what? I was having this conversation with somebody yesterday, actually, and they were saying how they don't like Whitney's man and i don't know i feel like he's actually really genuine i feel like he's one of those like underdogs where you wouldn't expect him to do certain things but he'll do it but he doesn't need to brag not like not like ty or like sammy or even what's his other name zach oh sorry he's so irrelevant what i've just done is added a little bit more of the hmb concealer kind of like in the middle of my eye and now i'm just dragging it outwards and then now i'm blending out the elf camo concealer um in the shade let me find out for you is it tan sand or is it sable bronze i don't know one of them but it looks like this this is the hydrating version and um yes it is light but i do like that bright under eye kind of look even though i'm not going for like a dramatic kind of makeup look I have the concealer in like the darkest shade possible which is sf F, wait sf 6.5 n and it looks like this and it is great for contouring do i do contour today yeah gone then we're gonna do a little dot just a little one here a little goes a very long way with this Um, oh, do I do my nose? Maybe not. We'll do the chin. Okay, maybe the nose. Just, just a little. Yeah, yeah. Like a little fluffy brush from P. Louise. I'm just gonna go in and blend that out a little bit to be fair i probably could have done with a little bit more than that but you know what i'm not gonna risk it because <laughs> nose contouring is still one of those things that i just need to master the remainder of the color corrector on the back of my hand i'm just gonna 
get much as I can onto my face and just dab that in. Just because I'm doing this, I'm also gonna go in with the blush from Made by Mitchell in the shade Dairy Queen. If you don't know about purple blush on dark skin, listen. All I'm gonna say is watch and learn. <laughs> I'm running out of this so I don't have the privilege to whack on as much as I usually would but listen purple blush on dark skin 10 out of fucking 10 for one of the last steps I'm gonna go in with the revolution of banana listen guys it's even rubbed off like <laughs> you cannot see what it actually used to say but it is the banana powder from revolution I would normally use my Laura Mercier, but I am, it is on its last legs. Like I just need new makeup, like, oh. But I'm just going to put my Flutter Baby in there, dab off kind of like the excess. And then I'm just going to dab onto my face, just like so. And just dab, dab, dab. I feel like a broken record saying never drag, but honestly, the difference it makes when you start dabbing your makeup into your skin just is phenomenal, to be honest. I'm not much of a baker as well, just because I've got dry skin. That's the last thing you wanna be doing, like spending this long to look crusty. Yeah. I guess the bit where I do semi-bake is here right now. I bring the powder up to like my eye socket almost like where I went in with the contour earlier um, and then put some excess on the bridge of my nose just to set in that concealer from earlier now onto the lips this is an area that I just didn't really care about I just put lip gloss put lip balm and go about my day because lipstick is is just a bit of a no for me but i'm really trying to get into a nice little lip com lip combination that works for me so i'm gonna try out using this brow defining micro actually no i'm not I'm gonna go in with this waterproof twist up lip and eye pencil that i actually got yesterday from the hair shop because apparently the hair shop has all the best like lip products so i went in and got myself one of these um and i'm just gonna line up my lips Just with a little bit of a pinky red kind of like eyeshadow shade i'm just gonna pop it on my lips and i'm gonna go in with like a beige just to lighten it up a little bit and then with the mua plumping lip gloss to be honest this does not plump it just makes your lips look really good which for me I don't mind but it definitely does not plump it costs four pounds from superdrug and like i said like i'm not really big on my lips so four pounds to probably lick it off is you know a little bit atrocious for me like it's just a little bit like come on now but it does make your lips look really good and it is my second time buying it after seeing a girl on tiktok live using it so you know i just can't stay away basically i'm gonna go in with a brushworks dewy fine mist and um, helps to set makeup for longer refreshing lightweight blah 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 dewy because i'm dry as hell <laughs> that was so good as well so yeah again another little tiktok shop find but i'm gonna go in with the hot tools hair curler i think this is what the 35 millimeter wand i don't know but it's kind of like one of the bigger ones i'm just gonna curl it very loosely because i don't want too much going on but yeah like this hair has been so disappointing um i don't know whether it's because it's straight and i am a curly hair babe so i think that could be the reason but yeah i'm just I've just not been in love with it, if I'm being completely honest. If you are a hair brand looking for someone to review your hair, my email's down below, so 
hit me up because I would love to try out some more hair and different companies as well. Oh, very cute. There we go, guys. This is the finished look. I decided to pop on some eyelashes, which they are still drying down right now, but we move. Hair is done a little bit differently as well. I've never done this style with just straight but curled hair. And yeah, that is everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you've got any questions, please let me know in the comment box down below. And also anything and everything, once again, that I have used, I am using to film this video. Um, will be linked in the description box down below if you enjoyed it make sure you hit that like button and subscribe button please it really does mean a lot and yeah i guess all that's left to say is see you in the next video i don't know is that what you say but um <laughs> yeah see you guys in the next video don't forget to follow my instagram and tiktok as well if you're interested in seeing a little bit more of me and in the meantime See you later. Bye. <laughs>